for most people, in order to achieve the best uh, within them, you need someone to motivate you or sometimes push you. And uh, sometimes it's not fun when you're doing it, but if you can take it, as they say, then you can make it. And we had a professor, his name was Mark Grossman. He was scary to all of us. Just like you're scared of me, Josh. No. <laughs> you're not anymore, okay? We were frightened of him. And one of the things he asked me to do is at the end of the year, we would have to, we, he will give us a case and we'll have to make something good out of it. And the case that I got that I need to present was a case of male melanoma. Mm -hmm. And so I presented the case to him and said, no, you can do better. And I'm like, what can I do better? What can I do better? And so it forced me to do the research and to think how I can make it more fun more memorable. And so that's how I came up with the rules for subangual male melanoma. And after I wrote it and it was published in 2000, I became kind of like the celebrated guru in subangual male melanoma. And I didn't take that route. I ended up doing some other things, but it always remained with me. And I was teaching other doctors how to diagnose it. And I had people from all around the world send me their pictures and they come to, for me to, to see them. When I'm looking at your nail, having looked at thousands of photographs of moles that are, you know, looking bad and stuff, and having actually seen people in the airport, one guy I, I saw in the airport and telling him that I think he needs to check his nail. And he's already saw three doctors. All of them told him it was okay and he was getting better. And I told him, you know what, I don't think so unless you had a nail biopsy. And I ended up being right. He had a nail melanoma. He flew from Canada. He was in Canada. I saw him on a vacation in, it was, uh, same, uh, it was in Aruba. And I told him he needs to do it. This was Saturday. And Monday, I had my, my manager tell me, you saw a patient in Aruba. I said, what are you talking about? I didn't see any patient. I was on vacation. He's like, no, he said he saw you there. I'm like, oh my God. So he ended up flying Friday. I felt like horrible. What if he flies and I'm wrong? And uh, we saved his life because it was a melanoma, but it was, it was early melanoma. He was a single father. His wife died from cancer. It was really from God having me seen him and me not knowing the guy going and talking to him. And, to, to him. and so having looked at everything, and again, no one is God without a bias. You can't tell for sure. I can tell you that this is benign. And I will tell just the story about mom, how she found it. Mom is a dentist. Here she is a nurse. And she had this mole, this beautiful young girl had the mole when she was nine year old. And it grew a little bit with her. And then for the last two years, it's been stable. But when mom started Googling, which is one of the most dangerous things to do is to start searching online and Googling, um, she got scared and she started bringing her to multiple doctors, um, like five doctors, you said, or something like that. And, and other doctors, friends who sent the pictures all around. And they took first a little bit of the nail for a test, which really is, uh, for the most part, useless unless you think it is blood. And it showed benign or nothing, just showed some pigment within the nail plate. And then what you need to do is, if you wanted to do it, is take a nail matrix biopsy. Because if you look at the nail, let's look at the nail together. It has a couple of parts. And you saw me when I was doing my own nail. And this part here, you see that white, where, where is it? Yeah, let's see this, well, maybe you can see here better. It's a little dry, but the outer part of it is called the lunula. You can see it in me better. So you can see this white part here. That's the outer extent of the nail matrix. Nail matrix is the root of the nail. From it, the nail grows. And if you look, it grows in a kind of like a arc way. That because this grows this way in an arc. So the one in the middle grows forward and the other one's like in an arc. And the same thing happens over here for you. It probably is a little bit closer to here. And so from that area, which continues underneath the nail to about this area like that and goes further about five millimeters behind. So that's, that's where the nail matrix is. Now, in order to find out what it is, which I'm telling you, this is 99% a junctional nevus, a benign mole, you just happen to have it on there. Uh, you will need to take a test from the nail matrix. So you need to lift up the skin, see the most proximal, the, the area that closers to the body of the pigment and take a test from that area. And then you will find that it's a mole. And it's important when you do take that test that the size of the test encompasses the entire mole. 
Because if you just take a piece of it, that piece may be okay, but the other piece may be bad. And I had a case like that mm -hmm. where I really didn't like it. I thought it was going to be something bad. The biopsy showed it was okay. And I presented it at Columbia. And the world expert in melanoma said, Dr. Levitt is right. He took only a three millimeter. He should have taken a six millimeter. And everybody's like, six millimeter, that's a big chunk of the stuff. It's like, yeah. And she ended up having it removed. She decided not to be at Columbia. She went to Sloan and I was correct. It was early melanoma in situ. And, you know, they did the treatment. So uh, what do you need to do in your situation? What would I do if you were my daughter? What would I recommend to do? I'd recommend that you watch it. What are we watching for? We're watching to see if this pigment grows to the side, if it goes on the skin. This is when it goes on the part here. We call it the proximal nail fold. We call it Hutchinson's sign. There's a doctor like that. But it does not mean that this is bad. It just means that the pigment went from the root a little bit to the surface. And we also look if it affects the skin more distally. If it affects the skin distally, meaning here, it is bad. I can tell you. But if it affects the skin over here, it's not necessarily a sign that it's bad. If, on the other hand, you see the color start lightening up, I usually don't like that. Um, getting a little lighter there. Mm -hmm. If it stays stable, that's okay. So looking for any kind of changes in it is really the key and seeing if it gets wider. Now, as a general rule, can I have a ruler? In the uh, toenail, you're looking for anything above three millimeters. If it's more than three millimeters width, that's what you are concerned about. In your case, it is it more is. than three millimeters. I know, I can see it. it's like four millimeters, but you're not concerned because this is a, a junctional needles and, and we're just making sure it doesn't get any wider. So let's let's take the size of it, yeah, blocking the light. And the way you do it is you take it from the color. So this is actually just exactly three exactly, millimeters. Exactly, yeah. I so it's exactly, it. you checked it also, yeah. So it's exactly, you just need to clean it. Just exactly three millimeters and, and this is uh, right at the borderline. It's fine. I would just watch it as I told you. And that's about it. Now, the risk if we do take a biopsy, what's the big deal? We take a biopsy, it's really not a big deal. For the most part, it's not, but it can on occasion, depending how you take care of it, form a scar. And if you have a scar, it's not only the issue about aesthetics, it also could be uncomfortable and not, you know, a little bit sensitive with the shoe and stuff like that. So you really need to take care of it. And then it grows out as a little hole that you do. If you want, I, oh no, I put a tape on my nail. But, but I would have showed you my nail because I took a little piece from it and you can see that hole is growing out. And that's basically what you see the nail. As the nail grows, the hole continues that we take through the nail, grows with it and that's, that's about it. Sun protection, always good because while junctional nevi risk of becoming melanoma is the same uh, according to the literature as any mole that is completely benign, it may change in color. Definitely, just like you can tan, it will change and it will scare you. Mm -hmm. So people usually don't think about using sunblock on their nails. I do. I use a physical sunblock on my nails. If you use a nail polish, it's also good. Yeah, we because, are using nail Because that polish. will protect it. But, but you're not putting it on the proximal, on the skin around it. And that part of the skin may be also causing the pigmentation oh, okay. to appear. So you want to use the sunblock all over there, number one. Number two, when you do do nail polish, sometimes, well, most of the time, they clean your cuticles. I'm not sending her to pedicure. Like, Give me five. I'm, I'm Good job, mommy. It by myself. Good job, mommy. So when you cut the cuticle or push it back, you cause some trauma. Why am I mm -hmm. saying it? About 50% of nail melanomas have been associated, again, this is from 2000, but I believe I remember it correctly, unless something new has happened since then. He stressed me enough to remember it that long, are associated with trauma. So you banged your toe, you did the stuff. And I do think that chronic trauma, just like you, you know, sometimes we do with a laser on the mole, it can mm -hmm. change a little bit the way it looks and it could potentially develop into a melanoma if it was already a little bit irregular, it can give it more energy to cause the mutation. It could theoretically change it. So I say be conservative, protect it from the sun and watch it. If anything, it usually, as I was explaining to you before we had the video, it grows in a horizontal manner. It doesn't grow vertical. We are worried with the melanoma for depth. Mm -hmm. That's the vertical growth. If it's just the horizontal growth, anyway, you need to remove the entire nail when you have a nail melanoma and a little bit of skin around it. So it's not a big deal. You just remove a little bit more around the area. So you don't need to worry if it's the horizontal growth phase. 
And usually that's where it would start before it starts going vertical. If you liked the episode and found it useful, please let us know by liking us and leaving a comment. Thank you.